Welcome to Foam Week TV, hosted by SprayFoam.com. I'm Heather Westrell with this week's Spray Foam news from around the world. With temperatures dropping around the country, the number one most common technical support call that SprayWorks Equipment Group receives is a direct result of cold spray foam material. The Barrel Blazer system solves this problem and safely heats your material. This week, SprayWorks announced two new updates to the drum heating system, the Barrel Blazer A101 and A102. These two new units give contractors a cost-effective choice of preheating systems while maintaining the same quality in the original SprayWorks Barrel Blazer units. You can read this complete story on SprayFoam.com. To complete a townhouse co-op insulation project, Homeland Builders of Michigan turned to Touch and Seal's Constant Pressure Dispensing System. The CDPS is a self-contained portable system that dispenses two-component polyurethane spray foam twice as fast as foam kits. Because of its portability, the CDPS often eliminates the need for a costly spray foam trailer rig setup. Bud Youngs, an insulation specialist at Homeland Builders, claims that the portability of the CDPS allowed his team to complete the insulation project in a fast, economical manner. To learn more about the CDPS, visit Touch and Seal's listing on SprayFoam.com. In Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, a colonial home gets weatherized with FOMO Products Handy Foam. The old house, which was built in 1912 with only cardboard and fiberglass bat insulation, was a leaky mess. BPI certified building analysts conducted a blower test, revealing significant air leakage. A smoke pencil and infrared camera were used to locate specific points of air infiltration. To stop this air infiltration, handy foam spray foam was applied to the attic floor and in the rim joists and windows. Visit FOMO products to learn more about energy saving home weatherization projects. I'm Heather Westrell, and that's what's happening this week on Foam Week.